I mean, it's an abandoned staff bungalow for the Anglo Awab Mafia Senior High School. We understand it's been here for over 25 years and the staff needs accommodation. Uh, we have the assemblyman, Wisdom Siade, who is also a staff uh, here in Anglo Awab Mafia Senior High School, located in the Keta municipality. Uh, so tell us about this project. Uh, it's been 25 years or more than that? Yeah, it's been 25 years. It's been here since 25 years. And then I, we've, we are in need of accommodation, too. Uh, the staff from this school will have to reside nearby Abo, uh, Akachi, uh, and all the villages around. And they have to either use motorbike or take transport every morning to this place. Uh, we know the effect on their work already. In the evening, supervision of work at the school is a problem. Then in the morning, someone taking a car from Akachi to this place will take some time. And that will also affect their uh, 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 reporting to school. Our problem or our plight is simple. Uh, it is our favorite appeal to everyone, the government and people who are interested in education, to come to our aid, try to do something about this, maybe finish it up and then hand it over for use. That would be very much appreciated. Okay, so we have other staff, other teachers here who would like to speak with us. Yes. Uh, so tell us your name and how long you've been teaching and the difficulties you face uh, and in the school, especially in regards to accommodation. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Join News. I'm Stephen Hunu. Uh, I've been in this school for about nine years now. And in fact, the problem of accommodation is, is, is something we, we can't talk less about. Because um, when I came here, I had to live in a cubicle that is seven by eight cubicle for almost four years. Can you imagine? And most other teachers were not living here. In fact, uh, this block, I made some inquiries and I was told that it was a get fund project. Uh, they went to the archives and it's still there. But how to reinstate it again is a problem. You know, most of my colleagues are not staying here. We have barely 10 teachers on campus, and it's affecting the, 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 the students on campus. You know, we have a boarding school. I mean, the, the students are in the boarding house here. And if there are no teachers to supervise them, because they are not living on campus, are they going to leave Abo or from Anyako, from the, the Akachi, and come and supervise them in the evening before going back? It's, it's just not possible. You see, and because this is happening, it, it's, it's making some of us suffer. You know, imagine me living in a cubicle with my wife or whatever. My wife cannot visit me. And if I don't have sound mind, it means I'll have to be living every weekend. And it's going to affect us. And so I humble plea that um, government uh, does something about our accommodation. In fact, it's, it's, it's really affecting us. Thank you very much. So it's, it's their prayer that government does something about the accommodation. Okay, we have one more uh, teacher. Uh, to talk to us. So, uh, what do you have to say? Um, my name is Seth Wisdom Che, um, a house master. Actually, the accommodation deficit is really affecting us. Um, we those residing here are suffering because we have to go for evening supervision and you don't have any other staff there to assist you. So, as a, a, a housing unit member, we are really suffering. So if the government or the region, anybody who can help us to have more accommodation for teachers, it will help us a lot. Right. We hope the Education Ministry is uh, watching. Uh, we also hope that the government, the ruling government, that's the MPP, is also watching these. So they can do something urgent about this situation because this is bad to say the least. And the teachers here need accommodation. They have water crisis already in Anyako and now this. My name is Ivy Satoji. Join News Anyako.